Hello everybody, it's Joe here and welcome back to another episode of The Bus. We're back in Germany today, we're back in Berlin in the E City Bus 18 meter. Now of course they don't have these in uh, in Berlin at this precise moment in time. They do have the 12 meter variant, uh, however we don't have the Solaris Urbino 18 which is common on the Route 200 now. Uh, so, uh, so yeah, we're going to be using this electric bus in its place. We're driving the Route 200 from Alexanderplatz through to Zoologischer Garten today where there has been a couple of updates. The route when they actually made the bus uh, did used to go a different way, however when they finished it, uh, it they, they changed it, BBG changed it and it now goes another way. So uh, yeah, it's, um, oh hang on, there we go. That's actually, there we go, yeah, ticket machine's still logged on, air conditioning is on, and uh, yeah, there we go. Right, release the parking brake. Well, we don't need to do that yet. We need to let everybody on, don't we? Morning. Hello, good morning. Morning. Yes, hello. Morning. Yeah, so uh, it, the, the 200 actually goes a different way now. So uh, we'll be having a look at that and how that differs. Now, from what I've seen, it does replace the old version of the 200. I might be wrong there. Uh, but yeah, if you, if you like the older version of the 200, don't update your game. Or, I, I don't know, is there a way not to update your game? I, I don't know about that, I don't know if it's optional, but uh, but there we go. Right, yes, on with the uh, on with the tour. Now, I absolutely love Berlin, you'll know I love Berlin. I could come back here every year, and to be perfectly honest with you, I do come back here every year. Absolutely love it, it's a wonderful city. We've got a Bombardier talent too, with no gangways between the coaches whizzing across the bridge there. Oh, it's fantastic. Uh, Alexanderplatz, of course, is where the uh, the Christmas markets, or some of the Christmas markets, are held. You'll be able to see those, uh, well, you won't be able to see them at the moment, but they're down there on the left-hand side near the Saturn shop, and they're also down here uh, near Marienkirche. Yeah, it's an absolutely wonderful, wonderful place to visit, particularly if you are a public transport fan. I also recommend, if you are uh, umming and ahhing about going to Berlin, to do so sooner rather than later, because the uh, the MAN Lions cities, the uh, the Man Lions cities, are becoming rarer and rarer as these new electric city buses come into uh, into operation. As well, uh, on the S-Bahn, the, uh, the the toaster stock. What, what's that now? 484, 483, I can never remember. Uh, they're becoming rarer and rarer as well uh, as the new stuff from Stadler comes in. So yeah, it's uh, there's a lot of the old stuff that is going. There's a lot of replacements that are happening. Hi. So uh, yeah, if you are rumming and ahhing, definitely sooner rather than later for a trip to Berlin uh, is on the cards. A lot of people buying tickets this morning. Spoke too morning. soon. Right, hang on. What do you oh, want? 24 hour ticket. A, B, one, yeah, card. Hello? Yep, pay by card, madam. Thank you. Take your ticket. Oh, hang on, what have I done there? I want to I wanna go back. Oh, that's, that's fine. There we go, yep, lovely. Right, so somehow now, uh, well, in the last version of the 200, we carried on straight forward uh, down past um, Dudar. Uh, you know, the, uh, where the Brandenburg Gate was, we've carried on down towards that. Oh, we get to go first. Posh. And then we'll just nip across here. Whereas, of course, now we turn left and go on past the Rotus Rats House that way. If you turn right there, you go down to Hackschermarkt, where the trams terminate. I'm looking forward to uh, to the tram lines that the, uh, well, the tram lines, the, the AI trams that they said they were going to put in. Oh, Flixbus on the left there, keeping it uh, firm bussy. Just nipping here. But yeah, this game is absolutely fantastic and it's getting better and better every time I play it, which is awesome. I still don't quite think it's a, a decent enough replacement for OMSI just yet, but it's certainly a brilliant game to play. The graphics are stunning. Uh, the, the bus is enjoyable to drive, to be honest with you. I, I do like driving it. Nip out in front of uh, in front of you. Oh, or oh, maybe we won't. Oh yeah, that that's what I thought. Thank you. Hopefully they didn't mind there. In fact, we just forced our way out. Of course they didn't mind. We're a bus. We're public transport. We're uh, we're saving the planet and all that jazz. Right. 
Excuse me. So yeah, we, we turn right and then we come down this road that's parallel. I don't know if you remember uh, before. If I press M to get the map up. Yeah, so we used to come down here on the 200 and then we kind of used to go whoop, 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 whoop. and I think we ended up coming down here anyway but we used to have this left right left right left right and it was it was just a bit of a farce really doesn't it wasn't it whereas now we come down through uh, through Potsdam or Platz this way and uh, and then we have a little bit that is actually like a paved section and then we join back on and, uh, and come round to Zulogische Garten that way. So it's not actually a massive change, but still, it's nice to drive it knowing that this is what the route does in real life, isn't it? I really do need to just have a look in the settings and see if there's a way we can turn this traffic down a little bit, because I always find traffic density 100, let's just put it to 75 and see what. Pedestrians are fine, there's a lot of pedestrians in Berlin. But yeah, we'll just turn that traffic density down ever so slightly because from my travels to Berlin personally, I've never found that the traffic is quite as busy as this game portrays it to be. Oh, hang on, there we go. There's nobody here. Do we stop? Does anyone want to get off? I don't know. Let's, uh, let's just stop anyway. Oh, they're, they're all getting on now. Well, parked right in front of a stand there. Tip is, guys, uh, or the trick is, if you want the bus to stop, then don't all stand here facing away from me. You know, maybe stand here and put your arm out. I don't know. Is, is that a thing in Germany? Do they put their arm out for the buses? Right, where are we going next? That was Nikolai Viertel. Fischerinsel. Next. Which sounds like Fisher Island, because Insel is of course Island, hence Museum Insel. Oh, there we go, someone wants to get off now, you can see the little yellow bus stop light uh, that's just come on on the dashboard there. There it is. Yeah, it's, it's good to be back in Berlin, I know that I'm not technically back in Berlin, I'm sat uh, in my house, driving a pretend bus in Berlin, but yeah, it uh, it, it does make me look forward to the next trip. Uh, that would be the curb. Right, is that everybody? Are we? Uh, oh no, one more person. That screen is uh, fantastically useful. There, I could use that mirror, but uh, yeah, the screen is useful to see if we've left anybody. I'm actually running a few minutes early here, which is uh, is not good. I've just looked at the time. Just can we can we get that mouse cursor out of the middle of the screen? That'd be lovely. Oh, hang on, my bus lane's disappearing. Good lord, that was rather sudden, wasn't it? You're probably going to say, well, no, actually, Joe, if you were reading the road signs, there was loads and loads and loads of uh, of signs saying bus lane finishing soon, you know, make appropriate decisions, etc. But, uh, but yeah. God, nice Skoda. Lovely colour on that Skoda. Octane. With the Canada maple leaf on there as well. Oh, it's a VRS as well. Very rough, um, I'll, I'll, I'll let you decide what that lasts. Very rough shenanigans. That's what VRS stands for, it's a, a well-known fact there. I like how when the lights go green, all the cars nod simultaneously. That was brilliant. It's like that well-known meme where the bus driver's not having a particularly brilliant day and, uh, and mutters to himself, looks in the mirror there at all the passengers and says, uh, you're all a set of idiots, aren't you? Or, uh, or words to that effect, and then taps the brake twice so everyone on the bus nods. Brilliant. That's that's my sort of uh, my sort of humour down to a T there. Right, flying down towards Potsdamer Platz now. Still ridiculously early. They're going to be getting cross with me at uh, BVG headquarters, which is a good job that we're not on the 300 driving towards um, Warschauer Straße because we go past the BVG headquarters. They come out and yell at us. There we go. Maybe 
I'll just take my time a bit more with this driving instead of flying round. Maybe we'll just take it slower and get it right. Because, you know, we've got the time to do so. Right, off we go. Nobody come in there, that'll do. Just be careful. Taking up his, uh, his bit of lane. What's this? Bus lane only. Lovely. Unless you're turning right. Oh, hang on. Yeah, bus lane and turning right. So we had to make a quick decision at the last moment there. But that's fine. Right, here we go. Another bus stop. Oh, get out the road, love. You're going to get hit by my mirror. Oh, lovely coffee on the floor. Nice. Mine. Hello. There we go, we'll indicate out. Oh, all nodding together again. No, it wasn't down there, was it? That we used to come down. Whereabouts are we on the map? Let's just check on the map. Uh, no, we've not actually come down yet. I can't remember if it was that road or that road. I think it was probably that road. Oh. And of course one of the roads, if you turn right up here, uh, I don't know if it's this one or the next one, you end up at the VW Forum where you can sit and have a coffee surrounded by various VWs and uh, and cars from the VW group over the years, like Audis and Skodas and whatnot. It's a little bit of a weird thing, but uh, but yeah, it's quite nice. Oh, that would be mounting the curb. Yep, yeah, you're a little bit close there. We're going to get through these lights. Which is not great, because I thought we were meant to be going slowly. Luckily it's not like Bus Simulator 21 where at every stop they're great parking position. Because otherwise it'd be in a bit of trouble. Oh, you'd like a ticket? That's excellent. I needed uh, a reason to be uh, chronically late. Paid by card. Although to be honest, I'm getting a little bit too good at this ticket selling malarkey. So, uh, yeah. There's also a little mod on the workshop uh, where for the delivery lorries uh, you see it says Mad X on the back. You can actually download a patch. Uh, I did download it, I mustn't have activated it in the menu, maybe that's what you have to do. Uh, but yeah, the um, it, you have the realistic logos on the delivery lorries. I find it very weird that they don't have the delivery logos on the lorries because like, there's a lot of real brands here on this game, isn't there? Like, when you look at the shops, all the shops are correct. You know, in terms of licensing, they've, they've just got all the shops correct. I don't know if they've got the licensing, but, uh, oh. Fabian, shameless plug of his YouTube. Well, you've got to get a cheeky advert in there somewhere, don't you? I'll have to tell him to get a uh, get a Joe Dobson advert somewhere in there. Right, where are we going? We're going forward. I don't know quite how we'd feel about that. Uh, maybe one day. Maybe like some sort of big rotating sign on top of Bahnhof Potsdamer Platz. Not like... Oh, moving out. Best choice for summer. But it's winter. It is January. It's not January, you idiot. It's February. God, don't time fly. I'm getting left behind. In fact, it's nearly the end of February. Good Lord. Right, where are my lights? Where am I looking? No Ample Man. That's a shame. Though some of them do have the Ample Man in. I'm sure I've seen it. So uh, maybe that these lights just don't have the Ample Man in. 
the Ample Man being, of course, the Lamp Man, uh, much like London has its, uh, its double-decker red buses and uh, black taxis and people with hair like Marge Simpson standing outside Buckingham Palace, uh, the, um, in Berlin they have the Ample Man and Trabbies and things like that and the double-decker yellow buses, one of which we're not driving. Right, let's see, 10.39, Zulog Garden, Jebenstrasse. Yep, we are two minutes slash okay. three minutes early. I don't know if the screens work, but looking at that, I would hazard a guess that they do. Right, off we go. That was Potsdamer Platz, everybody. The Deutsche Bahn Tower was also on the right-hand side there. I don't know if you noticed that. There is also an announcement pack uh, that you can download, but it doesn't cover the 200, otherwise I would have downloaded it for this, uh, where you actually have the realistic announcements on board rather than the... Because uh, at the moment it's a woman, isn't it? And she sounds a bit tinny. It's, it's not the actual announcements, I don't think, off the real thing, whereas the announcement pack, you have the, uh, the realistic announcements off the real buses, which, uh, yeah, we, we welcome that. That's awesome. Ooh, off we go. So of course we've got a bus stop on the right here, but we're not meant to stop at it, that's fine. And then we make a right turn down here. It's kind of a bit of a weird section of route, is this. It's, uh, you know, the 200 goes through lots of busy places, and then this is just kind of a weird bit of route. Although, when we came here, it, it was kind of pedestrianised, it didn't seem like this. You know, it wasn't a road with cars whizzing up and down when we were there. It was just, it was more pedestrianised, so I don't know if this is incorrect. Right, here we go. I think that some very clever uh, developer, chap or chapette, should, uh, should make the bus Halifax. Right, why are you not getting on? You're just staring at me, it's a little bit creepy. But, God, that's frightening. You need to wipe your nose and all of them. Yeah, that's what I thought. Is the bus full or something? Are we, are we full? Oh my lord, we're full and standing. Hang on, when I'm pressing F11, I'm, I'm just in the front door. People haven't been able to get off at all the latest bus stops. There we go. Sorry everybody, I've been holding you hostage. No wonder the bus is full. Flipping heck, Joe. I thought F11 did them all. Yeah, we're, we're just nipping out here. I hope you don't mind. I'm sure that it was... Uh, was it not a Ford that I did that in front of last time? And oh, what's happening here? Are we stuck? Yep, the traffic is stuck. You're not moving anywhere. I'm sure that's an, a U2 lyric. Right, excuse me. Yeah, don't mind me. Just a bus that's trying to keep to his tap. Don't hit me. Or do. That's a shame. That brand new paintwork on your uh, on your Skoda. We actually walk down here. If you have a look on my Flickr, you'll see uh, But we walk down here. Photos of uh, various electric Urbino Solaris contraptions. I don't know why we walked down here, but we did. It was nice. I guess because you've got to find something to do while you're in Berlin, and when you're on a bus, you can't actually take photos of buses, can you? Because uh, you always get that awful reflection in the window. Where are we going next? Tiergartenstrasse. Of course, the Tiergarten being on our right here. Massive, massive park. It's lovely to have a walk around, and... At some point when we were there in the summer, was it this year, was it the year before, I can't remember, there was a man with a macaw and a music box. 
and it was all very mysterious what was going on. But yeah, still enjoyable, but there was just this massive parrot, and uh, which was fine by me, because of course, if uh, you, you might know, I, I love parrots, I think they're brilliant. But yeah, there was this huge macaw. Oh, hang on. Yeah, we've. What does the door clearance? Is it? Is it F7? Did it say? Right, we'll have to experiment with that at the next bus stop. What's F7 do? Well, F7 seems to open them all. F8. Ah, it's F8 that does everything, I think. Oh, well. Yeah, I've been holding people hostage the whole way. I'm surprised nobody's come down and said something to me, to be perfectly honest with you. I think what they really need to focus on next is some AI buses, because once there's buses on this, you'll really feel like you're driving a bus route, won't you? At this moment in time, I kind of feel like the only bus in Berlin. As much as I bang on about how the AI trams would be cool, and they would be pretty cool, let's face it, the uh, I think the AI buses are more of a, uh, a necessity, should we say. There we go, there's a big road to the right here. Is this the one with the tunnels? Nope. There we go. Right, we'll, we'll try and see what happens when I press F8. The thing with this is that there seems to be different commands for every, every bus. F8. Okay, just the front door's open there. I don't know, but the engine sounds have gone a bit weird, haven't they? Lord on the nose. Yeah, I suddenly feel like I don't really know what I'm doing with this bus anymore. I say the engine sounds, it's an electric bus, you idiot. Of course it's not making engine sounds. Yeah, uh, my uh, recollection of walking up here was that I really needed a Wii. Which, again, anyone who knows me will know that I always need a Wii. Literally, wherever we go. Right, F7 and F8. Press both together. God, there's a lot of people getting off, isn't there? F7 to close the back doors. Anybody getting on now? Oh, you'd like a ticket. Hello. Oh, 20 euro. No, good lord. 24 hour A, B and C. You can't have notes. Because I have no notes. Even though you've just given me a note. Right, single ticket. A, B, C. Cash. 1 euro 20. There you go. Take it and sit down. Thank you. Oh, we appear to have... Is that a shadow? It's a, a random black splodge. Maybe someone's had an oil spill. Oh, it's gone now. That's good. Cleared up the oil spill very quickly. They're good like that in Germany. Very efficient. <laughs> well, uh, I, I don't know if we're allowed to, but we're just going to nip through here. And just park across the cycle lane because you know. Is that an ample man? It is! Oh, lovely. So he, he kind of is T shaped. There you go. And then he's walking. Lovely. Right, there we go. Green light. Green light, bus driver's delight. Or words to that effect. That's terrible. We will never say that again, I promise. Oh, she's here again. Frightening Moin. woman. Hi. Hello. Moin. Hello. You know you can all get on down at the back doors. I know there's like a no entry sign, but since COVID they seem a lot more relaxed. You can just get on a bus at any door. It's a bit weird. Uh, but they've left the no entry signs on. I always feel a little bit naughty doing it, like the bus driver's about to come down and yell at us for fare evasion. But when you get on the Berlin buses anyway, they never ask to see your ticket. 
I mean, the penalties for not having a ticket are such that I think everyone just has a ticket. Because for the price as well, the penalties are just, they just outweigh the risk so much. Uh, same as the U-Bahn on the underground. There's no barriers, there's no, uh, you know, none of those ticket barriers to put any sort of ticket in. You have to have a ticket, you have to have it stamped and validated, which there's little machines on the platform to do that. And uh, and if you don't, the consequences may be severe. Now here we are, yeah, we've turned right now. This is uh, obviously the zoo. Lovely. And this lovely, uh, lovely ruins here. There's a nice Christmas market around that as well. It is nice. I do wish they hadn't kind of put this thing in front of it because it's. I think it just kind of detracts from the uh, the lovely old ruins. But yeah, your nearest U-Bahn uh, for here is Logisha Garden, which of course is where this bus terminates, isn't it? Is it Hertz Ali? Yeah, this is a big one for people getting off. We usually, if we're getting the bus into Zulogi Shagan, because we were staying at a hotel just, uh, just back there. Uh, the Premier Inn. Yep, there you go. Uh, was it the Premier Inn? Yeah, we stayed at the Premier Inn. We also stayed at the Intercontinental down there. Um, we just stayed at a lot of hotels in Berlin. Uh, but we used to get off there and walk, because it, by the time you've actually finished dropping off, faffing around with the traffic lights, you can actually get to the station perfectly well. I think this traffic is a lot more like Berlin. Uh, the 75% definitely was worth it. God, Fabian, where's my advertising space? I'll be having words. I mean, that could hypothetically be a, a roll line thing, couldn't it? That, yeah, you, I, I, I have a range of sound effects there that I do. Um, yeah, flicking between his channel and mine. I've got some great ideas for this game. I'm hoping he'll take me on. Terrassen am Zoo. Yeah, the buses also, uh, they come under here now to drop off and then turn right and go down to Hertzali that way. Now, oh, we'll go down to the next one, it seems to want me to, doesn't it? There we go, everybody off, bus terminates here, yes. That ended here, journey ends here. Why Why are we so, ah, there we go. So we, uh, we, we go down there. Yeah, lovely, is everybody off? I just realised I never took a photo. I never took a screenshot of this at all, did I? That's terrible. All right. well what we'll do is we'll just run a red light. And we'll spin that round. I don't remember these parked cars being here. There we go, that'll do. Nice, uh, nice photo. I'll have another. There we go. Yeah, I don't remember these been here at all. But we're driving down alongside Zoologische Garten now. That's on the uh, on the right there, where your regional trains also stop. Yeah, before we used to go down that side, and uh, that's on the S-Bahn lines. So that's on the wrong line. And we used to come under there, but now we uh, we come down here. Why do we do this? I have absolutely no idea, but we do. And what we will do is we'll park under these new little stand things which are for electric buses so when the electric solarises get here they can pop the pan up and they're on like a fast charge to go back isn't that nifty yeah there you go i think the pan's at the front so i think i've overstopped there uh, but there we go that is the new route 200 i do hope you enjoyed that if you have please do show your oh what's going on with them textures uh, please do show your appreciation for the channel for the video do of course click that like button and of course if you've enjoyed the series or if you've enjoyed the video sorry make sure that you click the subscribe button so you never miss out on any future the bus videos other than that as i say thank you so so much for watching and hopefully i'll see you all next time cheerio Goodbye for now.